Hey guys, Super Gamer Bro 6 and 8 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review slash thoughts on the new Nintendo 3DS. Now this thing released like quite a few months ago, but um, I just wanted to show all my thoughts on it and stuff. Um, it's really good. Um, I think that this version of the new 3DS is better because of one you can collect cover plates and then they're also replaceable which is really cool so you can like take it off obviously and then like you can put them back on and stuff and the second reason which I'll show you in a minute is that the buttons are like the um the Super Famicom which is which is actually the Super Nintendo in Japan but anyway, you can change your cover plate. So you see that I had the Luigi ones. You can change it. And then, now you've got a different one. Oh yeah, this is custom by the way. This is not an official cover plate. But um, I'll make a link to a vid to my video about how to make custom cover plates. With the boring cover plates that you get in the box. That's another thing that I don't like about the new 3DS. Is that when you get it. You only get these really boring cover plates, like, depending on what colour you have. If you have the white console, you kind of have this beigey, white, um, boring, plain cover plates. And then with the black one, you obviously get this kind of lightish brown um, cover plates. But anyway, like, it's like that and stuff, and then let's switch it back, because these Skylander ones that I made... I don't really like it that much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like I was saying though, like the buttons are like in Super Famicom style. Like you see A, B, X and Y. Like that. And then you have the C stick here. And this is for like playing Smash Bros, which I do not have unfortunately. Um, yeah, so you use that for Smash Bros. It doesn't move, but try to be very soft with it because the, like if you push too hard, which I've seen a lot of people do it might break so it may not be the best idea to do that um the start and select buttons are here like on the side you have the um home button it's just its own button now you don't need these three ugly buttons like down here you just have the home button just right there uh the d pad is here just as usual like the old 3ds and actually the um the stick is actually different because on the regular 3DS, the old one, um, it was just flat and then your entire thumb would be able to fit on it and then it didn't feel very nice to move around. But with this one, I'm not sure if it will pick it up on camera but it's a bit, um, it's um, thicker and it's more 3D if you mean, if you know what I mean. The volume is, um, you can move it on the side and it makes a click like the 3d um you know like the um the 3d slider so that's really cool um i gotta say that this new 3ds feels a lot like um a mini 3ds xl but more on that later so as you can see the card slot is now on the bottom instead of the top which is actually nicer um you have the headphone jack as usually as usual uh, the stylus is at the bottom as well. It kind of has like this weird pickaxe design to it. And the reason why is because um, Nintendo wants... You see, when you take off your cover plates, they don't really expect you to use your hands. They expect you to use the stylus for some reason. Um, here's the power button, which is really hard to turn on and stuff. Uh, that's when you find like notifications and like friends and stuff. On the back we have um, L and R and ZL and ZR, those are new buttons. Then you have the charger, and, like the charging jack and stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I'm going to explain to you guys um, like what I feel like all six 3ds games that i have what makes the games better 
So let me just quickly get them really quickly. Here we go. Okay, so we got so we got Mario Kart 7 much more comfortable to um hold like it's more comfortable. Um it fits in your hands nice and it makes it easier for you to drive. Um Lego Marvel Superheroes Universe in Peril, which you can see me do gameplay of it on my Lego channel, Lego Mics. But um yeah, this game makes everything look nice and big, and it makes the combat actually look good, because on the old 3DS when I used to play this game, the combat looks really pixelated and really bad, but on the new 3DS, the combat in this game is amazing, and the box art is really cool too. Um, Asphalt 3D, um, surprisingly I got this game for like £4 or something, but it was reused, but it works just fine. Um, yeah, Asphalt 3D, just like, um, Lego Marvel Superheroes, it makes everything look big, um, it looks sharper, much sharper, and it's just much better, more improved, love it. And then we have Super Monkey Ball 3D, nice and colourful this time, because on the old 3DS it was a bit dull, on this one it's nice and colourful, and it's nice and big. Uh, Pilot Wings Resort. Um, it doesn't look as pixelated on the old 3DS. I mean, it doesn't look pixelated as it was on the old 3DS. Like, on the old 3DS, the graphics was horrendous on this game. But on the new 3DS, it makes it look nice. Finally, got Sonic Generations. It makes it nice, big screen. The graphics are nice and smooth, and everything is good. So there you have it. That is part one of... My